So we got the tip like uh, from the neighborhood, like there's one uh, child labor is going on and the uh, child labor is going on and the person, the kid needs to be uh, rescued immediately. So I went as I get that message and I saw the kid like he was like intoxicated with something like he was not speaking or he was just having he, he just had bruises in his hands body and it looks like he had a fever too and there was one lady who was uh, which at initially looked like she was trying to help the kid and she said to me like okay she is going to contact the, uh, the the kid parents and tell them to come and pick the kid and I was like okay that's quite helpful so I was just seeing the whole process, like whatever the environment, the things was going on. And I later knew that that woman was the one who was taking the child as a child labor. Like uh, that, that kid worked on that woman uh, hotel nearby that place. And like she was the one who was uh, brutally beating that kid and giving lots of, uh, lots of like stress, violence to that child. And he had very big bruises in his leg, like. And immediately I called police officer and government official over there. We rescued the child uh, and we brought him here and, and, and he needed to be hospitalized for 10 days or so because he was so in stress, like he was in trauma by that violence and he had bruises in his legs, body and like um, he was intoxicated. We, need to, we needed to rehabilitate him in the hospital too. And, uh, and now we are suing uh, suing that woman for the legal case for the child labor and for the uh, like uh, brutal harassment to the kid also and now you can see the kid is very happy over here like he's like a leader over here like he's the one who drive everyone around like for the playing or for doing uh, other extracurricular activities so that's how that's how the thing like that's how we work over here